sort of news reporting with nice equipment is going on down there. It's like an NBC affiliate. the founder or co-founder of WikiLeaks and um, he helped leak a bunch of materials about the wars in Iraq and wars in Afghanistan, a lot of war crimes by the US military. And then Chelsea Manning is the person that gave some of those materials to him that served a lot of time in military prison for them. And right now Chelsea Manning's back in jail for not testifying against Julian Assange. And Julian Assange just got locked up in London after he spent like seven years in an embassy um, evading capture by the U.S. government, even though he's not a U.S. citizen, he's not, you know, pre like, beholden to U.S. laws for any reason. But yeah. All right, have a good day, sir. you too, man. I'm surprised young people wouldn't know who Julian Assange is, but you know, happens. So yeah, it's like the Constitution is just out the window for Chelsea Manning, who served time in military prison and then had the sentence uh, commuted, or was given clemency, you, should, you could say. It was a clemency arrangement. So it wasn't a pardon, but it was a release from prison. And yet this person is back in prison for presumably the same thing, like the same previous act is the reason they're putting this prison, uh, this person in jail. So that's, un that's very inappropriate, it seems. That seems like a flagrant violation of double jeopardy, that someone would serve the same crime, at uh, the same time for the same victimless crime twice. And really it was uh, an empowering act because it helped us know about terrible things that had gone on, which people had a right to know. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow to, oh, there's some yellow. Thinking out this free here, so it really stands out. I don't know how many times I've chalked first free Bradley Manning down here and then free Chelsea Manning. I think that was more like when I was living in Keene, I was doing some more of those. That looks a little better. In the shade, you can't really tell. 